Hi folks, Dave here. Today's video is the first in a series about true direct solar power air conditioning and refrigeration technology. I'm not referring to using solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, and inverters to run an AC or fridge. My interest is in the ability to operate air conditioning and refrigeration off of direct DC, even direct solar panels. Making things cold with solar panels can be fairly challenging. I've been working on it for over a year. Here is some background information. My solar workshop is an insulated metal building with an outer shop area and an inner area which I sometimes refer to as a cabin or inner part of the workshop. What you're seeing here is inside the cabin area. This is an off electrical grid solar power system that's under construction. I recently reviewed some batteries and those are now cycling as part of their long term testing with an inverter, 1200 watts of solar panels and various loads and appliances including my air conditioner. The outer part of my workshop has a 5000 B2 air conditioner and the inverter is happy to run that all day long. However, it's been getting very hot here, over 100 degrees, and at that point the cabin or inner part of the workshop starts to get too hot and humid. The easy way out is just to throw another AC in the window, but before I do that I want to challenge myself to investigate other paths. And that leads straight into the first video in this series, Direct DC Solar Powered Air Conditioning. I have a strong interest in direct DC solar power air conditioning and refrigeration and I'm currently working on several videos and projects in that direction. This is an early attempt, it's not finished, and this is really just a quick informal look at what I've been working on. Here's a thermometer which is showing the temperature of the water bath and that is 105 degrees. The air coming out of here is definitely cool, I will tell you that. It's a little bit hard to tell sometime, but yeah, it's definitely cool. It's not freezing cold. And if you look inside there, I'll try to get a light in there. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know if the camera's going to cooperate or not. Oh, there we go. You can see all that water beating up. I didn't put that there. That's actually condensation, which is being drawn from the humidity in the air. It's really cool. And there's it's just a shroud with a fan on the top. And the fan is pulling the air in right through here. And that goes down inside here, hits that metal plate, and it takes a U-turn and comes back up out of this opening. You can see the water flowing right there. It's circulating through this little tiny brushless pump. This pump is all I had available at the time. I will try some different pumps, but right now it's doing the job. I don't know how many places I've ever seen so many wires at one time in one small area. There's a lot going on here, so I'll just give it a brief explanation. There are four Peltier elements hidden below the heat sink in the water and they're all wired up to the solar panels outside. This DC board here is currently running the Peltier elements from the 1200 watts of solar panels outside, but eventually I will eliminate that circuit. It's just there for safety and so I can control the experiment. I am using this board to control the amount of power flowing through the Peltier elements from the solar panel array. Depending on how things progress, I may actually go for a better looking setup and clean up some of the wires. We'll see how it goes. Over here we have a controller for the outdoor fan. And this is a controller for all the other fans. Including the water pump. So the water pump's running off of here as well. And eventually that's going to be separate. But like I said, it'll do for now. It's doing the job. And I've just got some alligator clips hooking everything up. It's also fairly quiet. The only thing that's making noise is this fan here, and that's just there because it was getting too hot and I had to put something there. It's pretty loud, but eventually this is all going to go away. The actual sound this thing makes is almost nothing. It's making cool air. It's not really making a lot of noise. It's amazing. And uh, even though Peltiers are kind of frustrating to work with and they can be very disappointing, I won't say that I'm completely disappointed. This is working. It's doing something, it's absolutely cooling the air, it's absolutely performing dehumidification. I'm actually getting a little bit impressed. Anyway, let me show you the part that's outside. Here's a look at the temporary setup for getting the hot water outside and cooling it off. You can see some bubbles that went by there. There's still a little bit of air in the system. One of them is hot and the other one is the cold or return. Of course, it isn't literally physically cold. But there's a temperature differential between these two tubes. I have not insulated them, I don't have room, I don't have time. Later on, I do want to insulate and improve this. You'll, you can see the light coming through there. That's just temporary. I have to make another hole in my building. I didn't want to do that, but I didn't have a choice. Here's what we have on the outside. 
It's basically you have your hot water coming out, going through the radiator and coming back in. And there's a pretty loud fan. But this is uh, really quiet inside. I don't really hear this inside. Here's the power wire that's feeding it. This is a prototype, very, very rough. It's not what I really want to build. It's just what I don't have a choice. I just slapped it on here with some magnets and, you know, it allows me to test the idea. Well, I'm going to make this a part one because I suspect I will be posting some additional updates on it. But this is what I have so far. It allows me to test and see what all is involved with using Peltiers to condition a space. And like I said, it's absolutely dehumidifying the room, I can tell that. And if it's dehumidifying the room, I know it's also cooling the air that's coming out. And uh, this makes me want to look for something a little bit better. So I'm going to do some more work on this idea, and I'm going to try a different setup. This is going to be called version 2. And as soon as I have something I can show you, I will come right back and post an upload and show you guys what I have so far. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. Hope you like this short update. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.